Hi, my name is Felipe Sintra and in this video I will show you how to enable AMP to a specific post or post type. This video is related to the official AMP WordPress plugin. And now let's talk about how we can enable and disable AMP. With the official AMP plugin, it is possible to control when AMP is served and where. We can control by post or page, we can select to a specific custom post type, or we can decide which template you will serve AMP. And why that is possible? Imagine a few scenarios. You have a page that needs to make usage of third-party script and depends heavily on JavaScript. Or you have a no AMP compatible plugin that is crucial for one particular page and another scenario, you have a specific custom post type that you know that has a template AMP compatible or the opposite side. You know that the template to serve that custom post type is not AMP compatible. So some of those examples can be your case and how we can do that. So in this video, I will show how and now let's jump to our dashboard and let's test it how we can do it. Here at my dashboard, I have a local installation of WordPress. Here at the post list, I will just select one post that I can edit. I will click on that. I have the stats here, hello world. And on my right side, I have the setting sidebars that can be related to our post or the subject that is selected on that page. But here for that example, the important thing, it is the AMP option that is available here. When I select that item, it's not for all the posts, but only for that post, that Hello World post. And I will do a quick task here. I will just click and disable. I will update them. I will go to View Post. And inside my page, I don't have an AMP version. How we can see there, at my admin bar, the AMP link disappear. And if we go to another post that has AMP enabled, for example, Block Image, I have the link of AMP here available and I can click on view AMP version and here we are at the AMP version for that post. So in that case, AMP still working for all other posts, only that scenario that I select disable AMP, now we are not serving AMP. We can just go back to the editor and here at the editor, I can just enable AMP again, update that item and done. I have AMP again serving to that particular post. Now I will jump to my dashboard and I will show you, for example, how we can do for all of the items for a particular custom post type. So I will just click an AMP here to go to my settings. Here at the settings page, as we can see here, I'm using the reader theme AMP legacy. If I scroll down here, I will have the advanced settings, add supported templates, I will just click on that and we can see that only posts are selected to that item. For example, if I want to serve page, I can just click on page and now all the pages will be served by AMP and I have created that custom post type movies and I can click also serve. One important thing here, the AMP legacy theme doesn't have archive page. If we want enable that, I need to select one theme that is AMP compatible. For example, I will just select the 2021 once I do that, I can see now more templates that I can decide which will be used or not. By default, we have serve all templates as AMP. If I disable that, I can do some custom configuration. I can select each item I want to serve with AMP. So here I have the full control of the, the items. But once again, for we see those template options, I need to use or a reader theme that is not legacy or use a transitional mode, also we're going to see those options. So and that's it, how we can decide when AMP will be displayed or not. And if you need any help with the official AMP plugin, please contact us at the support forum that we will find at wordpress.org slash support slash plugins slash AMP. Thanks for watching and see you next time.